the Green Valley. And as we continue to look here still to our left, where we can see these old cars to the side of the road, these are some of the cars that were used to transport the sugar cane from the estate to the sugar factory. Now we finished with sugar cane in the year 2005. And we just did not give it up like that. We were forced to do so. Reasons are the bought of the cheaper weight sugar in the market called the peach sugar. And because it was going cheaper, it was giving us lots of competition. And also the Europeans, who are heavily subsidizing for us, they said they could no longer do that. And without them, we just couldn't handle it on our own. So we were forced to give up the sugar industry. But we still have remnants of those sugar canes added along the way. And as we go along, I will point that out to you. Was the manager's quarters. This was an old sugar estate called the Hermitage Estate. And these buildings, they lost their roof during one of our major hurricanes. This was an old sugar estate called the Hermitage Estate. As we continue looking here to our right, the ocean, we're still here at the Atlantic side. It is still the Atlantic side. Now let's turn our attention now to our left. Look at the top of the mountain, the very peak. It's a very good day today where we can see all the way. There lies our dormant volcano, Mount Lyamiga. Our volcano oh, yeah. has been lying dormant for the past 1,000 years. Yeah, up to there too. It lies 3,792 yes, feet above sea level. Now it used to be called Mount Misery. But when we attained our independence in 1983, the name was changed to Mount Lyamiga, which means the fertile land. Now you can go right into the heart of that volcano and explore it. It's a beautiful area. But you cannot do it by yourself. You see, if you try to do it by yourself, you just might get lost. We have lots of winding roads there. We try to do it just like a dog. Don't want that to happen. So if you're back here, you wish to Maybe. explore it. Remember, you have to do so for a designated four guy. So every time I get in this area where we have these big trees, etc., I am always on the lookout for our monkey, our green vervet monkey. Now these monkeys that were bought here a very long time ago by the French, and they were bought here as pets, P-E-T-S. But now they have been turned into pets, P-E-T-S, -E especially to our farmers. You know they were going around eating all of the farmers' bananas, all of the peanuts, everything inside. And those monkeys, they have developed and multiplied so rapidly that right now on the island, we have more monkeys than people live in. So you know we have to find ways and means of getting rid of some of these monkeys. And so I'm expecting you to help me out in this way. Okay, Amu, I'm depending on you to help me out. Now I know you have your families back home. You have your grandchildren, your children, your nieces, your nephews, a close friend and a kind neighbor. And I know you don't want to come to think it without taking back something for them. Okay? So listen, each of you is allowed to take at least six monkeys back. And you don't have to worry about those monkeys. They are all duty free. All you need to do, give me your cabin number and your name, and I'll have them delivered to the ship for you. If you are at a hotel or a private home, it's okay. Just give me your information. I'll bring it to the airport for you. See, I'm making it very easy for you, where you can have your gift to take back to your loved ones, okay? Still hold on to your cameras. As soon as we come around the bed here, let's all look here to our right our beautiful black sand 
Sand Beach. The Lover's Beach, we call it. Here is where most of us would come on our off days to spend some quality time with our other half. Right here at our beautiful Black Sand Beach. This is the Lover's Beach. bridge and this is our highest bridge 90 feet high 200 feet long and on both sides we have the extension of the beautiful lush green green forest this is our second major bridge the branch bridge two bridge on this line. around here. So hold your camera. As soon as we get around the bed, we're going to be on our third major bridge. churches here, the Mount Carmel Baptist Church. Now here in Ireland we have lots of different churches, lots of different denominations. We have Baptist, Catholic, Methodist, Moravian, Anglican, Seventh-day Adventist, we have the Jehovah Witnesses, we have the Mormons, we have the Rastafarian, the Pentecostal, the Pilgrim Holders, you name it, we have it here. So if you're here in Ireland, spending some time with us, and you'd love to worship, you have a choice of where you can worship and feel comfortable. And also here to our right, we can see some banana trees. These are what's left of what once used to be one of our farmers' banana plantation. So here on the island, you can get a banana anytime. We are never out of bananas. You can have it right. Eat it as a fruit in the morning for breakfast. Or we make a 
have a special dish for our green banana. This is our third major bridge, the Soldier God Bridge, 240 feet long. white roof here, there's a chimney between those pine trees. That's a private research lab. Owned by two Americans out of Boston and Connecticut. That's a private research lab. There used to be an old sugar estate. And there at Phillips, we make a rum. Before I can tell you about that rum, do I need to look around? Make sure we have no police at board because that rum is illegal. It is called hammer, but we call it here moonshine. A very good rum. Now you take a spoonful of the rum in the morning before you go to work, and it gives you lots of energy. You just keep going like the Jerusalem battery. And then at night, before you go to bed with your other half, take four spoonfuls. You'll wake up in the morning with a smile on your face. And listen, it is very strong. It is 151 proof. Very strong rum. Very, very strong. You see why we have to take it in spoonfuls? It is very strong. And as we continue now, here looking to our left, we can see an old sugar windmill in a chimney. Here was an estate called the Mills' Estate. Now that estate was owned by the Mills family. It was uh, the last owners were the Mills family, so it was named after them. Mills' Estate. Now the Adam Sink is, is 68 square miles. And it is said for each square mile on the island, there was a sugar estate. So if we do a calculation from it, we realize we had about 68 sugar estates here on the island. Yeah. Now I want you to bear in mind as we go along that wherever you see an open, you see all 68 of it, because some of it up in the hills, in the mountains, so that we can see. But just for information's sake, you know. Now as we go to this tiny village, the village of Christ Church. It's a very small village with less than 100 persons living here. Now along our island main road, we can see the church with the steeple. That's the Christ Church Anglican Church. You see, a very long time ago, the Anglican churches were the more predominant churches here on the island. That's the Christ Church Anglican Church. And this village is called Nicola Town Christ Church. And as we get around the bend, we're going to be on our fourth and final major bridge. And that's the Christchurch Bridge. It's our longest bridge. And that bridge is very unique. What makes it so unique? It is the only 
only bridge that crosses over the island's main road. So as soon as we get around the bend, we are going to be on our fourth and final major bridge, the Christchurch Bridge, our longest bridge. This is Christchurch. Morning, Mal. This is our fourth and final major bridge, the Christchurch Bridge, our longest bridge. Christchurch Bridge. Different villages. A very good thing that they have done. 
because of the system that they have in place, most of our single parents and low-income families, they can now boast of having their own home. And they're very affordable. They have 25 years in which to pay for these homes. They are very affordable. Now, as I said to you before, the island of Saint is 68 square miles with a population of about 49,000 persons. Our main language is English. But just in case you may hear me talking to one of my co-workers or one of my friends, the language may sound a bit strange to you. That is because we have our own dialect. Broken English is what we call it. When we talk to each other, we we'll talk very fast. We tend to chop out some of the words. So you listen to us, it may sound a bit strange to you. But it is still English. Also here in Ireland, we accept all major credit cards. The exchange rate is 2.67 to 1 US dollar. Our currency is called Eastern Caribbean. We shorten it and we say EC dollars. And look across the coastal area there to our right, you can see some black rock in the ocean from this area. We can see some black rock. Around that area it's called black rock pasture. 